In the ongoing legal battle between Ripple Labs and the SEC, the court has established a timeline for the remedies briefing and discovery. By the way, the price of XRP surged due to a faked ETF file. However, the gain swiftly vanished when the filing was revealed to be fraudulent, resulting in millions of liquidations. The Fix Reduced Offers V1 feature is being voted on by validators, and in the meantime, the XRP ledger is undergoing a critical update to add more functionality to the network. Stay with me through to the very end, as I have a big announcement to make. Check out this new video right now if you think this sounds like something you'd be interested in. Greetings to all, and welcome to our channel where we discuss the most recent developments regarding XRP and the cryptocurrency industry as a whole. If you are watching one of our films for the first time, we would be happy to extend a special greeting to you. To ensure you never miss another film, we cordially ask you to press the notification bell. We are announcing that 200 XRP will be given away on this channel. All you have to do to be eligible to participate is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment with the hashtag XRP. The winner will be revealed after the contest. Finally, the SEC Ripple Lawsuits Remedies Phase timeline has been made public by U.S. District Judge Annalisa Torres. James K. Fillin, an experienced attorney who has been following the Ripple case closely, revealed the revelation yesterday. As per the November 13 court ruling, the remedy briefing is scheduled to start on February 12, 2024. This is the day that Ripple and the SEC will formally finish all discoveries relating to remedies. The Securities and Exchange Commission will submit its remedies brief by March 13, 2024, following the party's completion of the discovery. Furthermore, on April 12, 2024, the defendants, Ripple Labs, must file their opposition to the SEC's motion. Moreover, by April 29, 2024, the SEC must provide its response to the opposition. This happened after the court looked over the party's suggested remedy briefs and discovery plan. Recall that on November 9, the court requested that the parties submit a joint remedy short proposal by that date. The SEC and Ripple filed the proposal on November 9 and requested that the court grant them 90 days to complete all discovery about remedies, as was previously reported. Furthermore, the parties decided that Ripple would submit its opposition within 30 days of the discovery period, and the SEC would file its remedies brief no later than 30 days. Based on the most recent order, it appears that the court approved the schedule that the parties had requested. It is noteworthy that the sole outstanding matter in the SEC v. Ripple case is the remedial phase. The proper remedies that Ripple may be subject to for its Section 5 violations relating to its institutional selling of XRP will be decided in this round of the lawsuit. XRP had the court decide in July 2023 that the $770 million institutional sales of XRP by the business constituted an investment contract. Ripple might thus be forced to pay a fine of up to $770 million. Ripple would try to lower the amount by deducting its allowable business expenses, even though the SEC wants to collect the full $770 million penalties. To be the first to know about new updates, remember to hit the notification bell and subscribe to our channel by bit about the most recent XRP developments. In the past 72 hours, XRP has surged quickly, going from $0.66 to over $0.73 in less than 30 minutes. XRP saw a sharp increase over the previous 72 hours, shooting up from $0.66 to over $0.73 in less than 30 minutes. The trillion-dollar asset management BlackRock is applying to an exchange-traded fund, XRP, at the same time as this spike in value. In a few minutes, the weight of this news led XRP to post large gains. But the rally was fleeting, as within an hour, XRP was back trading at $0.65. Remarkably, the optimistic XRP surge quickly evaporated as a cryptocurrency market. The XRP filing was a scam, as the participants discovered. The application first sparked a contentious discussion because some claimed it was authentic because it was included on an official U.S. website. Attorney Fred Rispoli verified the existence of the purported XRP file on the Delaware Court Commission website in a recent tweet.
He wondered if it would be possible to have a fictitious entry on an official portal. In addition, he pointed out that aside from the faked date and identity, the application is identical to BlackRock's most recent Ethereum ETF proposal. However, lawyer Jeremy Hogan confirmed that it is possible to file a false application. The attorney pointed out that registering such an application on the website of the intended U.S. state only costs $500. He said, it's a scam. However, it just costs $500 and is extremely simple. All you have to do to obtain a placeholder on the state website is submit two documents and pay the required fees. Meanwhile, traders who were wagering on the price of XRP have suffered as a result of the incident. Specifically, it appears that traders who have placed a wager on XRP have lost $6.2 million in the last day, according to data from well-known market tracker Coinalyze. Most of that liquidation, 72.7%, happened in the hour after the alleged BlackRock XRP ETF file leaked. Trading on XRP surge, traders opened long positions and lost $1.8 million. The other group lost a larger $2.67 million. In less than four hours, a total of $4.5 million was liquidated in the XRP futures market. Pundits have claimed that the filing of the counterfeit XRP EDF and the multi-million dollar liquidation that followed was an obvious example of purposeful market manipulation. A similar incident occurred in October when BlackRock's upcoming Bitcoin spot ETF was purportedly approved in a fake report. In a matter of minutes, the development led to Bitcoin rising past $30,000. The update fix reduced offers one has received the necessary 80% approval from validators. Out of 35 possibilities, 28 have endorsed the change. Moreover, the update fix reduced offers one has obtained the necessary 80% validation support, with 28 out of a possible 35 voting in favor of the measure. As of right now, the upgrade has entered a two-week activation period with an estimated arrival time anticipated on November 24. As the transition process moves forward, node operators are now encouraged to update to the most recent version. The fix reduced offers 1 is a component of the Rippled v1.12, the direct update from the Rippled v1.11. An amendment called Fix Reduced Offers v1 focuses on improving the features of trading platforms that are based on the XRPL. Notably, the network blocks the order book when a decreased offer appears since the rate of these offers influences the remaining amount that is rounded. Reductions in offers can occur in three different ways, according to the findings made thus far, when an offer is partially used when it is put when it is partially used when it is dropped into order books, or when a market member underfunds the offer. The documentation outlining the features of this function states that by rounding off these numbers, Fix reduced offers 1 will assist in preventing order books containing reduced offers from becoming blocked. An XRPL exchange's operations cannot fail thanks to the Fix reduced offers 1 modification. The conversion rate of a decreased offer is rounded up to make it fair when compared to the original offer when it appears in an order book. Since smart contracts typically automate XRPL operations, implementing the amendment as a corrective mode can support equality and improve the XRP ledger's optimistic view. Recent developments in the XRPL ecosystem suggest that a comprehensive plan is being developed by the ecosystem to restructure the network and get it ready for the next stage of adoption. In addition to the fix reduced offers one release, XRPL developers have significantly improved the network's operation with other noteworthy pushes. There have been rumors of other modifications, some of which even touch on the XRPL automated market maker implementation. Additionally, the number of users on the XRPL is increasing, and these updates will support maintaining the platform's integrity as more users join. Uphold declared cryptocurrency trader Donald Z of Oregon, USA, the overall winner of the Uphold October XRP sweepstakes in a recent tweet. Now for the day's announcement. In an uphold announced the winner of the Uphold October XRP contest as cryptocurrency trader Donald Z from the U.S. state of Oregon in a recent tweet. 
the person received the $20,000 XRP compensation that Uphold had promised in the original press release. Notably, 13 days after the promotion concluded, Uphold revealed the winner of their October XRP campaign. An ex-user revealed that because it took some time to name the campaign's ultimate winner, he first had doubts about its validity. Following the hotly contested activity among several qualified submissions, Donald Z won the draw. Uphold announced a larger XRP prize offer in its ongoing campaign after the October XRP sweepstakes ended. For the November issue, the exchange has revealed a huge 150% rise in the XRP bounty. Specifically, Uphold intends to provide 50,000 XRP to one fortunate trader on its platform, such as Donald Z, who wins the draw. After the conclusion of the November XRP competition, by the competition rules, a $20 trade is required to be eligible for the draw. The exchange stated, you will receive an entry into the sweepstakes for each $20 in qualified trades you complete on our platform. This implies that your chances of winning increase as you trade more. In the meanwhile, the $20 transaction only becomes valid once a potential participant chooses to take part in the giveaway. Furthermore, not all purchases made for $20 or more are eligible for the sweepstakes. Uphold has identified the behaviors that reduce a competitor's odds of success. In particular, withdrawals, transfers of cryptocurrency between Uphold users, and depositing a fiat currency into the same fiat currency are all considered incorrect entries. Not to be forgotten is that Uphold's XRP. Only citizens of the United States, excluding New York, are eligible to enter the giveaway. Let's finally announce the 200 XRP winner. The winner is displayed on the screen. Best wishes. Verify that you enjoy the video and don't forget to click the notification bell and subscribe. This is a huge assistance for the YouTube algorithm. You can also aid in enlightening others, similar to sharing this video with as many people as you can has enlightened you. Let's spread this news far and wide, people. If you truly love cryptocurrencies, make sure to read all of our stuff. We'll talk about the most recent developments that affect the community as a whole tomorrow.